Uh, Nigel, are you upset this morning? And if so, why? Good morning. Uh, good morning. Well, at least the charade's over. The, you know, we've been put through this agony for the last few weeks that there could be a no deal. That was never a possibility. There was always going to be a deal. And it was always going to be a deal that was in the interests of the French fishermen and German car makers. And that's what we've got. Um, I think, uh, you know... But a deal helps the UK, doesn't it, Nigel Farage? Well, a good deal helps the UK. Um, a bad deal doesn't help the UK, but it helps our European competitors. Is this a bad um, deal, in your view? Well, here's the problem. Go on. Here is the problem. Yep. You know, we've agreed this, and we'll announce this on Christmas Eve. That means almost no proper scrutiny today, tomorrow, and Boxing Day. And then it gets rammed in front of Parliament before anybody's even read it. The final document is likely to be as long as two thousand pages and fine we can go through the fine comb detail of fishing and see how much we've conceded the real question and bear in mind this isn't a deal don't call it a deal it's a new eu treaty and it's very important that people understand that how tied are we going to be to brussels rules in the future i can't answer that right now until i've seen the document i've got a lawyer on hold whose christmas it looks like is ruined um and we'll but 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 nick by the time we get to the detail of the long-term commitment, the vote will have passed. So I'm, I'm afraid I think it's a very cynical piece of government. Where are you on fish? Because I know that's been very keen, very well, keen interest of yours and uh, looking after the fishermen and I'm sure women of Grimsby, Great Yarmouth and other towns and cities. Well, I mean, Nick, here's the point, you know. Uh, Norway, the Faroe Islands and Iceland are three independent coastal states. They catch 90% of the fish by value in their own waters. The other 10%, they allow foreign fleets to come and catch under licence and they pay for the privilege. Um, and we are not, not genuinely taking back control of our waters um and, and that i'm afraid is a promise broken i mean i mean you know on the big picture of this i mean brexit is a major constitutional change it is a huge historic victory for grassroots campaigners all over the uk against an entire political system that didn't but want it to happen so so that's the good news unfortunately very often you can win a war but strike a poor piece, and that's what it looks like.